Okay, so I'm ready to clean my plate now. I'm going to move my plate back over to the dirty paper so that I can keep, you know, dirty, one station dirty and one station for clean so I can keep this clean. Uh, one thing that I want to bring up is that you can hang your prints up to dry and then after it's dry, you can peel that little piece of tape off. I'll go ahead and do that now, even though it's not quite dry on mine, just to kind of show you. So put it face down. Just be really, really careful when you're peeling that tape off. You can see my tape actually did pull up a little bit of the paper fibers. So I probably want to stick it to myself a couple more times to make sure I don't lose too much of that. And then you can, you know, put this up on a shelf. You can hang it up. I'll actually show a picture of how I let my prints dry. Uh, that I'll post up to Canvas later. But for now, we'll just put it aside and then start cleaning our plate. All right, so back to that dirty station. I'm going to take, so this is water soluble ink, so it means that you can clean it up with soapy water. I'm very used to working with oil-based ink. Um, I like to put my gloves back on, especially for cleaning. But when I work with oil-based ink, what I do is I first use a little bit of uh, vegetable oil to clean the plate off. And I'm just gonna do that with this ink too because I'm, I'm used to it. I think that um, it'll work just as well. So a little bit of vegetable oil on the plate and then a paper towel. Again, being gentle, just kind of wipe that vegetable oil into our ink. The reason why we wanna be so gentle is that when we scribed through the plate, we lifted up burrs, and we want those burrs to be there because they help hold ink for our lines. And if we're too aggressive with our plate, we can actually remove those burrs, and then our lines won't show up as crisp and clear anymore. We also want to be gentle with our plate, too, because you could put scratches into areas you don't want there to be scratches in. All right, so first round was vegetable oil. Then I've got a mixture. This is just dish soap and water. So soapy water. It can be pretty liberal with that. Grab some more paper towels. Oh yeah, that looks really good. So soapy water. Clean the plate. Remove as much of that ink. And then you're ready to print again. So for this first project, I want you to print at least four of them and try to get those prints to, uh, to look as identical as they possibly can. If you mess up, you can uh, cut some more paper down. Just remember that we, uh, we're using that paper for all of our projects. So if you run through all that mulberry paper, you're gonna have to buy some more. But uh, yeah, that's how you clean our plate. So after this, you can just start the process over again, carting ink back across, wiping it, and then printing, and print four, try to get four identical prints from this, um, and use up to uh, three sheets of paper, which cut in half makes six sheets.